There we are, off grid installing in Scotland. Nice bit of a snow shower there. We are on the shed, snow coming down still. All weather, we keep going. See uh, east and west facing array. We've got nine more panels left to go on. We have got our south facing array covered in snow. And uh, just take you into the shed. We are nearly getting there on the water and ladies and gentlemen. Oh yes, yeah, here we are. Still got a bit to do. It's, uh, okay. it's Austin, I'm a customer for the organic farm. I thought it'd be nice to have a quick chat with Austin, tell us a little bit why he wanted the off-grid power system and how he thinks the job's gone. The uh, job's gone really well, really smoothly. Um, the system's working really well. Uh, we've got a cold, cold uh, weather front at the minute, as you can see from all the snow, but the system's powering on, it's charging up. And uh, originally, I went for a quote from the um, local supplier and then that was coming in at far more than we expected and then once we did the numbers we realized it would be better off going with Lee and getting this off-grid system put in and that over 10-15 year period we'd, we'd get our money back and, and start saving particularly if we get an electric vehicle which is obviously going to save on fuel as well uh, so we went ahead and um, yeah I'm really really thrilled with the system uh, it's, it's charging up all the time even when it's overcast uh, and um, yeah, it was definitely a wise choice. I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely thrilled to bits, yeah. And what, what is it you're actually doing here, Austin? You're, uh, you're well, here we've farm. got our organic farm. We've got crops growing over there on the other side of the trees and, and stuff like that. And if you, if you pan around there, you'll see the trees and the, uh, through the, maybe see there's some of the plot, but probably not so much. And, and behind us here, we've got a little caterpillar tunnel starting off a few things. We've got some lettuce and other bits and pieces going in there. So the system, Electricity will help us because we will then be able to irrigate a lot better and more efficiently whereas before we were just using a, a small pump and a generator and, and it was all a bit um, hit and miss and, and quite labour intensive but now we can be a far more automated and uh, far more efficient with our time. Yeah, Ladies and gentlemen, you can see we've got clouds in the sky, it's still quite bright. I'll just take you inside the shed so you can see what we're generating currently. There we go, 2,907 watts.